Right guys, we're live from Waitrose for the impossible challenge. A Sunday roast dinner from Waitrose for a fiver. Oh, Mark. Can you do it, Lucy? I don't think so. Let's give it a try. I've got the little man. I've got the story, let's get to it. Come on. Where to you first, Lou? I think it's gonna be a chicken roast. A chicken roast in Waitrose for a fiver. I think you've um, bit off more than you can chew here. Got to be this one. Right, where are we going to go to next then, Luke? Because surely we need a meat, don't we? Yeah, we'll go and have a look at the poultry. Okay then, let's go. And Lucy, this yeah. time you're not allowed to use a calculator either. Oh. Nope. Chicken thighs, £3.50. Bargain that, to be fair. £3.50 for all that. Waitrose potatoes, 65p. Done. And you're done, is that it? Surely I can use gravy and staple. Yeah, you can use your staples in the cupboard. Let's get to the tills and tally it up. Yeah. I think you've gone over on this one though. And there it is, five pounds on the dot. She's done it, five pounds on the dot. And I'm gonna be using my staples, gonna to have to. Let's get it home. Cook it up. Right, we're back home, Lucy. What is first? First things first, we're gonna season our chicken. Okay. We're gonna get some oil on there and we're gonna use lemon and thyme chicken seasoning and thyme seasoning. Give that a good mix up so it's all over the chicken. Get your chicken into the roasting tray. And it should look something like this. And now I'm just gonna wash my hands. And bang straight in the oven for about half an hour. You're doing a great job there, Lucy. We absolutely love mashed carrots in this house. Right, the carrots are all separated now. And now we're gonna go on to the potatoes. We're gonna do mashed and roast. Right, Lucy, since you've been doing these meals, who has the best potatoes? Marks and Spencers, without a doubt. Marks and Spencers? Yeah, the pound ones. The one pound ones in the bag, okay. Right, we're going to boil these off, and then I'm going to have half as roasties and half as mash. Right, what are you looking at, Lou? Well, I'm just looking that we've got um, stuff to do Yorkshire puddings. But that's cheating, though. Yeah, but we've got a main thing. You don't have to include them if you don't want to. Yeah, true. It is a staple food. Right, we'll try, then. Go on, then. Give it a go. Oh, I've only got two eggs left. Do you reckon that'll be enough? No, I, th I have no idea how you make Yorkies, no idea. Right, let's um, Google and let's get back to it. Right, let's Google it first. Two eggs, put them in the jug. Give that a mix up. Pinch of salt, splash of milk, splash of water, and a big spoonful of flour. And give that a good mix up. Right, get your chicken out and we'll add the potatoes. Right, we'll get a few of these out and put it in between the chicken. And straight back in the oven. Tip your oil into your baking tray. Get that into your air fryer and leave it in there for about 10 minutes to heat up. I'm just going to baste this chicken and the roasties. And that's going back into the oven for about 15 more minutes. Now it's time to add the batter to the hot fat. And in it goes. 10 more minutes on that. Lucy, Lucy, the rest of that batter, can we not put it in there with the chicken and the potatoes? Please, let's just try it out. Come on, let's try it. I'll try it. Come right. on, let's go. Where do you want it? In the corner there. Okay. Is this gonna work? Oh, this works. This is gonna be amazing. Now you wanna mash your potatoes and your carrots. We've added a little bit of butter and a little bit of milk. Don't forget to save your carrot water for your gravy. Mashing carrots are done. Now add the water from them back into here. Add your gravy granules, 99% of people have them in the house. And give it a good mix up till it goes thick. Time to get the chicken out now, and we'll serve up. Oh my God, oh my God, me, me, oh, oh, me Yorkshire pudding's worked, no way. Also get some chicken juice into the gravy. Right Lucy, time to plate me up then. Let's see how this comes out. Oh, look at that, <gasps> look at this. You get absolutely loads of chicken, don't you? Look. I reckon this would easily feed a family of four, or at least three. I'd say at least three, possibly four. Thank you very much, our three's enough for me. More roasties? Yeah, one more will do, thank you very much. Some mash. Thank you. And carrots. Thank you very much. Mixed veg. No oh presentation skills at Absolutely all. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, the gravy. Tell me when to stop. Stop. Thank you very much. And there you go, guys. Another amazing savvy meal, five pounds. We have used a few staples, but guys, if you do want to copy this, this is the receipt. Oh, the big Yorkie. Oh my word, we almost forgot. Has it worked? 
Oh my God, it looks amazing. Right, it's time to have a taste of this then. Let's see what this chicken's like. Oh, what the flip? <laughs> right, Lucy's Yorkie first, let's taste it. <laughs> Lucy is a Yorkie. That is brilliant. Guys, if you do want to copy this meal, this is the receipt. From Waitrose for five pounds. If you did enjoy the video, please drop us a follow and a share. And don't forget, staples are a choice, not a necessity. Enjoy.